know, about two years ago, I was up in Canada and I was working with a native tribe, the Cree Nation. And, and it was interesting that one of the things about the Cree Indians is that they have this, this long standing tradition of having respect for Mother Earth, having respect for the waters and the seas and the land and everything. And it's all a big thing to them. And I was working with some Cree kids and they were saying, well, one of the things about us is that we really, really have this respect for nature. And it sounded really good, except then I had to think about it a minute. I just walked into a community center there. And when I walked into the community center through the same doors that these kids have walked through, I looked around and you know what I saw? Trash everywhere. In fact, you know what I did? Because this is just how I think. I went and got a bag and I went outside and I collected in probably about two minutes, I collected enough trash to fill a bag. Took it in, into the program, dumped it on the ground and said, you know what, if you mean what you say, if you're really trying to follow the lead that your ancestors set for you, how could you walk in here, see all that trash out there and not do something about it? You see, if you want to talk about respecting the earth, if you want to talk about being green, if you want to talk about really, really, really valuing what we have in our resources, then one, you won't litter. Number two, you got to think about stuff that you use and whether or not the earth can handle it, whether or not the earth can, can, can use it again, or whether it's just something that's going to fill up our trash sites around America. Ladies and gentlemen, give us some thought. This is the only world we have. This is our earth. Do your best to take care of it. Life, life, lessons, lessons, really.